What is up guys, Matt the Rift Master here, so today I'm going to be showing you some uh, very popular picking patterns that you must know for all you metal rhythm players out there. So guys, today I thought I would discuss uh, a topic that I've wanted to talk about on this channel. Um, it's been spoke about before on YouTube, but I thought I would just talk about it myself because it's something, some well, some things that I use a lot in my playing, and I feel it's something that a lot of uh, beginner guitarists that are into metal and into your rhythm kind of playing, uh, that you should know these techniques and these picking patterns to help to help you achieve all your metal rhythm chuggy goodness. So there's a bunch of different picking patterns that you can use that are traditionally used a lot in metal music. Um, and you can even put them together to make one kind of thing, if that makes sense. So we're gonna be going through it today. So for this demo, I'll just give you the rig rundown. We've got the ESP E2, the Black Star Series 1, and something a little special down here, but we won't go into that just yet. So the first one that we will discuss is the the one that, you know, all you Metallica fans, all you James Hetfield fans out there uh, that love, and that is down picking. Now, down picking is a very well-known, famous picking technique for a lot of fast, cool riffs. I mean, you think Metallica, you've got Master of Puppets, all those kind of songs that are iconic for their down picking riffs. And for those of you that don't know or may not know what down picking is, it literally is exactly how it sounds. So it is all down picking, okay? So every pick that you do on the string, it's down, okay? So I'll give you a quick example of uh, good old down picking goodness. Here we go. <laughs> So that is down picking. It literally is just down picking. You can go as fast as you like. You can go as slow as you like. Depends on your riff. But a lot of us guys, we love to produce and develop our down picking and to really get it up to speed. And to do that, it is just practice. You've got to be really warm in the forearm. In your picking arm, you've got to be really, really warm. Okay, so when you do come to doing your down picking riffs, make sure you're warmed up because you will start to cramp. And uh, that's not a good thing. So guys, next up uh, is um, is a, a picking style that's pretty standard uh, in any kind of genre of music, really, and that is alternate picking. Uh, and like I said, it's used everywhere with guitar, um, but it is used in, in metal as well. So alternate picking means alternate. So you're not just going down, but you're picking up as well. Okay, so example of alternate picking would be, if I just take this on standby, uh, will be down, up, down, up, down, up, okay? So. Okay, so it is down, up, down, up, and it sounds similar to down, 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 but it's down, up, down, up, down, up. It's, it just makes it a little easier if you're not that comfortable with your down picking. Okay, so if you're not too comfortable with going constantly down, you can go down, up, down, up. Sounds similar. I personally feel it hasn't got the exact same kind of grunt to it, the same aggression, but it's an option for you out there. If you do get a bit tired, you can switch to going down, up, down, up for your alternate picking. So that will be... So we've looked at down picking, we've looked at alternate picking, so down picking being constantly downstrokes, constantly. 
Alternate picking is uh, 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 downstrokes, upstrokes, downstrokes, upstrokes. Sounds similar, doesn't have the same attack in my opinion, but if you do get tired, you can go to that. And now some of the more uh, interesting kind of colorful picking patterns, which incorporates um, the down and the up are things such as gallop picking. Now gallop picking is very famous in a lot of music, a lot of thrash music, a lot of thrash metal, uh, which is called cool. I mean, Metallica are iconic for a lot of gallopy riffs. You know the gallopy one, the one that's gallopy? Uh, so I'll give you an example of galloping. Um, we actually have B cam down, sadly, which really sucks. So we have no close-ups, I do apologize. We have no B cam. But hopefully you'll still get a good vibe. So this is uh, galloping, all right? So it is kind of, it is what it is, it's gallopy, it, 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 as soon as you hear it you think, wow, that's gallopy, and it's down, up, down, up, but slowed down, it would be something like... So you think something that gallops, I, you know, a horse, you kind of do that slowly and you can kind of picture in your head a horse galloping along. That's the way I always see it anyway. So that is gallopy, gallopy picking. Gallop picking, great for all those gallopy riffs. If you've got a riff, certain riffs just really do call for a bit of galloping. So that is, uh, this. that's galloping, gallop, gallop picking. Is that even a saying? It sounds weird now. Gallop picking, the gallopy one for galloping. The gallop picking. Moving on. So guys, there you go. That is three picking patterns that are very, very popular in metal music for all of you possible beginners out there, people that are getting into your metal guitar playing, your metal rhythm playing. There are three techniques that you can use to add into your riffs that you should really get down and nailed for when it comes to playing all of your metal -y rhythms, um, all your metallic riffs and all those kind of fast, thrashy stuffs. You've got the down picking, you've got the alternate picking, and you've got the Gallopy picking, the gallop picking, galloping. Let's call it galloping. Yeah, I think it's just called galloping. Uh, yeah, apologies again for B cam going down. That's really annoyed me. I was so certain I was set up to go, but that motherfucker let me down. Screw you, B cam. So, guys, for all of you out there that are getting into your uh, your metal rhythm playing and you really want to develop these kind of skills, give them a go. Practice. Make sure you're warmed up, and you'll be playing all those fast, heavy gallopy, thrashy metal riffs in no time with absolute pure ease. So guys, if you've got any questions, let me know down below. All that cool stuff. If you are new, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, come hang out, join a family and have a good time. So guys, as always, rock out, be awesome, and I will see you very, very soon. See ya!